My friend Frankie McCrane back again. I don't know, a little interrupting there. The uh, no storm never hit though. The uh, the economy didn't get uh, scatter, but I'm back again. And I'm going down my top ten list of things that make you crazy. Is tonight I'm speaking to you plain to the American people without that liberal media elite or them handlers getting in the way. And I'm Frankie as I want to be. Now I don't know where I was. I was like I don't know. I was at a Madonna. Oh, I already did Madonna. Um, the next one is immigration. Now I earned my keep in the United States Senate as a maverick. I'm a maverick, 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 maverick. And the reason I'm a maverick in part is because my immigration, even though I did, uh, you know, <coughs> I end up yeah, giving up on that, but I, I am a maverick on immigration. Up there going now. I love immigrants. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Except, you know, I got me like whatever it is, nine houses, 14 houses, something like that. Oh, oh, cut it out, cut it out. Oh, 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 oh. And, and I always eat a Mexican. I need one big bitch or trim. Oh, cut it out. Trim the bushes or something like that. You know, I'm always, so my immigration policy is that. But the fact is, friends, my friends, the fact is, I'll, I'll cut it out. Is that, you know, in, down in the southwest United States, in Colorado, ow, 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 New Mexico, ow, 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 Arizona, places like that, all over, you get these immigrants coming in and having children. And we only have like a 4% Republican majority. Well, they come in and get in to see something like that. No way, no way. We're going to, ow, ow, permanent, ow, Republican majority down the tube. So I'm, ow, ow, Frank McCain, saying, put up a wall. Put up a wall, Mr. Crankhead. And that's what we're going to do on immigration reform. And that's what I'm in favor of. That's my making it crankhead. I'm a maverick on immigration. Now, the next thing that's making me crank it is people make fun of my hero, my genuine hero, Ronald Wilson Reagan. Ronald Wilson Reagan made America stand tall. Now, there's a man, a president, that can take a bullet. Now, that man was a great man, and I love him. He made America great, even though he spent like, oh, oh, there he is. Oh, I love you. Oh, 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 oh. He is such a man. He died in hair. He wasn't afraid to dye no hair. I won't dye my hair, I'm afraid to. But I dye my eyebrows. But Donna dyes her eyebrows too. She running around skinny legs, old legs, with dyed eyebrows. And my man Ronald was, oh, oh, oh. Ronald was right. I'm older than he ever was. Ah! Now, the next thing that makes me crack it is people make fun of my vice presidential candidate, my darling little, little Sarah Spanker Palin. We call her Sarah Spanker Palin around the campaign office. And she's such a darling. She's such my, my sweet one. You know, she makes me complete. You know, I picked her. People say, Frankie, what did you pick up for? And I say, well, I was surging at the time. You know, she came in the way and wanted, oh, there she is. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, oh, oh. She likes sniffing me. I like sniffing her. You know, she's wonderful. We, we go around all the time making fun of the socialists and all that kind of thing. It's hilarious. And I must say that she's so beautiful. And I love I was surging in. I'm surging now. You know, I sent her off. Sniffing that hair. Down to Neiman Marcus. And I had her buy. $6,500 worth of unmentionables, underwear, and my only criteria was someone got to be red, someone leopard skin, and one or two snake skin. And I hope she didn't tell me which one she's wearing all wearing, but she make me whole. And so I picked her because I was surgeon. The other reason I picked her, I must say, is because she's Miss Paylin. Get it? Paylin. Sarah. Spank it. Paylin. And the reason we picked her was because she's as white as you can be. Oh, that she do. She's about as white as you can be. And, and I don't have to say to anybody that there ain't too many brothers driving snowmobiles, you know what I mean? Ha! Ah. Anyway, we don't have to say, don't vote for that black guy. None of that stuff going on. All we have to do is say, she like me. I like her, she like me. I'm voting for her. Oh, she's wonderful. And all that fancy hair and stuff, she's worth it. She is worth it. They call her a barracuda because she's a man eater, and I can't think of nothing else sometimes. Anyway, what's making me cranky? What's making me cranky next? I'm getting down there and the cranky list is the current occupant of the White House, Mr. George Bush. You know, I, I hate him. I hate him. Even though I voted for him 90, 92, 93% of the time, I hate him. I hate him because he's so unpopular. If he wasn't so unpopular, I'd probably, oh, there he is. I'd probably, oh, oh, there he is. I'd probably be licking him. Uh, he'd be wonderful. But he, but I hate him now. And on national TV, I'm going to hit him. Oh, I hit him. Oh, I hit him. So good again. Boom, oh, slow motion. I hit him. Now, I must say, I vote for him all the time, and he's Mr. Bush, and I, 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 but it taught me how to campaign dirty, and I learned how to campaign dirty from him. And Mr. Bush, I tell you, I learned about tax cuts from him, too. You give all the money to the rich people, and they take care of you, you know what I mean? Ah. And i got to announce to you, because our economy is doing so good, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm going to announce a tax cut to all the rich people in the United States of America. And the rest of you, I'm going to announce a tax cut, and you're going to get back. Dun, 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 dun. Wham, bam, bam, bam. Somebody, 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 someb
police the borough. The police the police the borough. Wham, bam, wham, bam. The police the police the borough. And 45 cents. Oh, well, that's what I learned from Mr. Bush here. I love him. I hate him. I love him. I hate him. I love him. I hate him. I hate him. I love him. I love him. I hate him. Ah! Now. Almost done here. Almost done. They've been coming at me again. They've been coming at me. It's like it's like when I was in over in Vietnam. Remember? You've been in Vietnam, you've been not in Vietnam. You had no right to criticize the people. You know, I've been in Vietnam and I held it upside down and it whipped me. They whipped me good and they made me they made me do things I will not talk about. But I do talk about it all the time, all the time, every time. You don't have to be by me and fear and I'll give you a whole story four or five times. Now, anyway, one time I was in Vietnam, I had three bugs, I didn't, I'll tell you this story, three bugs, I traded for two bugs, and then we had a fight, we had an arm wrestle, for over the one remaining bug that both of us forgot about. I won, I won, woo! Anyway, now, what's making me cranky is, is this next guy who's running for President of the United States. You know, the next guy running for President of the United States is Mr. That Man over there. And I tell you straight, my friend, I tell you straight, oh, there he is, ow, 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 ow. I cannot believe, I can't, I cannot believe that all these white people would send his credit card information, their credit card information, this black man on the telephone. It's just amazing us. But I'm gonna take his skinny ass. He's kind of right where I want him. He doesn't need no surge. I need the surge phone, and I'm gonna beat his skinny ass. And I tell you right now, we're gonna do it out by winning in Pennsylvania because those people out there don't like these people out here. And that man right there is what I'm talking about. <laughs> now I'm gonna conclude right now with my October surprise. I got a giant October surprise, and this is part one or two or something like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Bin Laden. I'm gonna get Bin Laden. I can tell you I know how to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I know how to do it. I'm gonna challenge him to an old-fashioned smackdown. Old-fashioned smackdown. Oh, there he is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna challenge Bin Laden to an old-fashioned smackdown. I got secret information I'll be releasing in my campaign in the next day or two. And then I'm gonna challenge Ben Laden to a smackdown. I'm gonna tie a leather thong around my arm, a leather thong around his arm. I'm gonna hold a big K-bar knife. He's gonna have a big kabuki knife. I'm gonna throw a picture down of Madonna. He's gonna throw down a picture of one of them Danish cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. And we're gonna fight to see who gets to tear up that other picture where the other one hates so much. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna have further information on that in the next day or two as part of my October surprise to win this election because I am not toast. I am not a quitter except in Michigan. I'm not a quitter, except uh, on immigration. I'm not a quitter, except, uh, well, maybe on the tax cut thing. Oh, oh. But I will fight Bin Laden, Mr. Bin Laden. Ah, do it a death. I'll be coming back at you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. This is Cranky McCain saying thank you and good night. And this is Cranky McCain approved this commercial. You've been to Vietnam? I've been to Vietnam. <laughs>